Hello everyone, my name is Illyard2 and welcome back to my Let's Play of Victoria 2 with the HBM mod with Korea. Yes, so in the last session we had a couple world wars, in fact two world wars happen and uh, now the Soviet Union is a is, is a thing. Uh, not only that, but we've continued to push deeper into China and Japan. We have uh, Guangdong as a, a little buddy. And uh, yeah, so hopefully uh, in this session, I can go ahead, take more land from Japan, hopefully puppet them, and uh, continue with my conquest of the Heavenly Kingdom. Uh, so I actually figured out why I can't puppet the Japanese. It's because they have to have less than 5,000 men. Now, currently they have 7.27 thousand men so that's kind of a problem i'm gonna have to take over a big portion of their land cerning because i might not be able to do it by the end of the game i'll probably take over kansai and chubu maybe kansai and chubu or maybe tohoku i don't know let's get a uh, combustion engines try and uh, improve our economy because eventually we are gonna run out of these uh amenities Indem indemnities indemnities payments they're paying us money because we won the war. Indonesia is also a thing. I forgot about that. Yeah, we could just take over like a ton of land from them. We could probably just take over all of Borneo. Or actually, ooh, all of Celebs. Yeah, we can't even declare war for another two years. So I can't even do anything with that. Another thing we could actually do is become communists. My people aren't all that communist. But, you know, for the sake of being Korea. First to the South Pole. Hey, that's a free 100 prestige. I like it. Um, I don't want... I don't want them to win. I know I just said, hey, maybe I'll go fascist or maybe go communist. I don't want to become communist via uh, a rebellion because those are kind of, they, I mean, they hurt me. I, I'd like to point out it's 1900, 1910, and I'm still using these clippers. <laughs> All right, so we got those guys in Japan. Let's continue to build up a uh, mainland army. So it looks like we're getting some amounts of Koreans. Yeah, you can see right here, there's 2% Korean. We're seeing uh, some Koreans spread around the area. The Japanese are now fascists, which are terrifying. Their industry still sucks balls, so that's kind of hilarious. Oh no, they're actually attacking us. Oh my god, they almost lost all their troops in that one tick. Holy shit, that's amazing. And the truce with the Soviets ends soon. Can we go anarcho-liberal? No, we cannot. Look at this. Look how many communists. Oh my god. Damn, owning this Japanese land is horrible. I mean, there's a ton of fascists here, but Jesus Christ. And we'll prepare for the war with the Soviet Union so that we can free Mongolia. So that we can annex Mongolia, because Mongolia is tiny. This should be an easy war with um, Germany on my side and whatnot. Although, I swear to God, Germany, if you declare war before I do, I'm going to scream. All right. Actually, you know what? I want to dismantle the Soviets. Right. I totally forgot about that. I wanted to dismantle the Soviet Union uh, with the help of the Austro-Hungarians and the Germans. Now, they are allied with the British, which, you know, sucks. The British only have 30 brigades because uh, the Great War. I forgot about that. But the British being in the war kind of sucks, although I doubt they have many. I swear to God, if you're at war with the Russians. No, Ethiopians. What? Yeah, it looks like Flashpoint Tension is very, very high in Japan, as expected. We can go ahead and do a release puppet. Obviously, we're going to make them release Mongolia. That's their only puppet anyways. I swear to God, will they join? They will. Oh, thank God. Well, Spain won't, but yeah. When this should be a very easy war. If someone throws in a dismantling, that would just be swell. They didn't join because the fucking British. Oh my god, is this actually going to fucking happen? Am I not able to bring them in? Yeah, this is unfair. This is unfair. How can they call in their ally, but I can't? Oh my god, the Danish are a great power. Yeah, this is unfair. This is, uh, cruel and unusual punishment. Uh, well, the Soviets are the war leader, at least. Fuck it, we gotta mobilize. Mongolia's not even in the war, even though they're a satellite. It's not that I'm afraid, it's just that this war is gonna be a lot more fucking complicated without the, without the help of the Germans and the Austro-Hungarians. Austro because 
they have Moscow right here. They can easily destroy the Soviets and dismantle the Soviets even. And I would love a dismantled Soviets. But that's not going to happen in this war now because Victoria 2 has idiotic uh, mechanics. We got to handle the Soviets coming into our land down here. We're already at 8%. I mean, the British aren't that strong. They're going to be mobilizing, but I sincerely doubt they actually even have anyone in India. If the British are going to be sending over troops like this, there's no way they can actually win, though. Oh my god, are they annihilating me? They are, aren't they? Fuck you, game. How are they doing that? Wow. How do they annihilate me so quickly? They have a four attacker, that's how. Oh my god, yep, they're all dead too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why do I keep playing this game? <sighs> fucking British, yet again, fucking us in this goddamn game, like they always fucking do. Score 31. It's 31! It's like, huh, you have three times the war score required. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's a huge army. Three times the war score required. Mm, we're not feeling like it. Oh my god, he's attacking me! He attacks me, he annihilates me. I attack him with like three times the soldiers, real soldiers against mobilized forces, and no, 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 why would I be able to defend? That makes no fucking sense, guys. Come on. <laughs> What does this look like? A balanced game? It's 37%. Why is he not saying yes? If I hit 50%, they won't accept. It's already at Oh my god. Defender occupation's that high? Why? Yeah, wait. There we go. Mongolia is finally released. Jesus Christ. Demobilize. Oh my god. So we're removing them from Sphere. and We're going to set up a goddamn protectorate. This is, uh, I, I, I don't like this game sometimes. <laughs> oh, oh my god, Patagonia. Patagonia just popped out of Chile. Chile is fucked in this game. Oh my god. Right now, socialist. You know what? This is a sign. I'm gonna save the game. We're gonna, we're gonna become communist. Why not? We'll become the DPRK. Oh my god, Uruguay is justifying against Brazil, who's fascist? Oh my god, I've never seen South America like this before. And now we can finally... Establish a protectorate on Mongolia. They're not friendly with anyone but me. So let's go ahead, declare war. Finally, Great Yuan is restored. <laughs> and there you go. Let's look at these borders, boys. Ooh! That's a tasty Korea. That is a tasty looking Korea right there. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's a thick boy. All right. Let's go ahead and go to war with the Heavenly Kingdom. Ugh, Ilir, stop, I can only get so erect. All right, finally, can we, can, play, can we take over Sunqian? No, we can't. Gansu, Shangxi. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of coal right there. And we'll go ahead, demand concession. It'd be Gansu. And there they go, surrendering. There's Gansu. Awesome, and that's a Han territory. That's a lot of people right there. Although, taking over Beijing would also be nice seriously Sunqian we I, I kind of I kind of really want how many people are running away 2,000 but once we become communist we can close those borders um you know maybe I can go to war with Indonesia actually wait wait wait, wait. their capital is a colonial province how is that possible <laughs> you know actually let's take over the Sunda Islands now do the fact that we actually already own part of it it's actually a state and a lot of them are actually Koreans down here. 41% Koreans down there. Wow. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So they actually have 33 brigades. That's concerning. We're gonna save the game and go to war for the Sunda Islands. Oh my god, he's actually attacking me. Don't get in there. Oh shit, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Win, win, win. Oh, thank god. Alright, and we just annihilated this poor army here. There you go, 20 war score. You probably want to surrender. There you go. The Sunda Islands are ours. All of the Sunda Islands. Asian farms and mines. Cool. Oh no, all the Sunda Islands. It's all a state, actually. Nice. 
That was a real quick war, I will be honest. And in September, we'll begin the justification on the Japanese. There's the alliance. Awesome. With the East Asian superpower, the Germans are only stronger.